Right now, the Texas Department of Transportation is studying an almost 80-mile stretch of I-35 to monitor traffic flows. This may seem daunting, but they have some tools to make it easier. You may even have spotted these on your drive. KXAN traffic reporter Amanda Dugan shows how counting cars helps your commute. One, two, three. Easy as ABC. Even more so when you've got computers doing it for you. Counting cars is nothing new to TxDOT. They track traffic volumes on I-35 annually. Every five years, they monitor traffic entering and exiting highways in Austin, especially traffic just passing through. It gives us the most information possible for us to make the best decisions when it comes to improvements to the road. Currently, counts are being collected around the clock on I-35 from FM 1431 in Williamson County to SH-45 Southeast in Hayes County. Along with entrance and exit ramps, they're tracking the number of cars at four major locations on the I-35 main lanes and frontage roads with radar like at I-35 and 51st Street. In all, more than 330 counts are being taken. These counts really do help us in our long-range planning for I-35. It lets us know, you know, this section of highway has seen tremendous growth. The traffic counters are actually screwed right into the pavement, but that doesn't always hold up in really fast-moving traffic. Just moments ago, we saw the traffic counters across the way completely ripped right up out of the asphalt. Despite a couple of mishaps, TxDOT says all this data is crucial for deciding future road improvements. The information can be broken down in different ways. We can look at it if we want to know, you know, morning to evening. Amanda Dugan, KXAN News. Well, after we found several of those traffic counters were torn out of the asphalt, we spoke with TxDOT about how it could impact the study. Officials say those cables could get repaired or picked up. If they are removed, they will take the partial data from the counter, which could be sufficient, or they will estimate the total count. TxDOT collects this information every single day. On average, crews get 82,000 short-term traffic counts, 1,000 manual counts, and more than 300 long-term counts. And like Amanda said, they look at this information every year. This is from 2015, the last year information was released. The numbers in blue show where traffic is being monitored. TxDOT continues to focus on improving traffic flow all along Interstate 35. A 10-year plan is underway right now, stretching from Williamson County south through Austin all the way to San Marcos. It's called Mobility 35. Projects include improving ramps and access roads, as well as plans to add lanes on the I-35 upper decks. Officials have a goal of finishing that work by 2025.